Okay, let's get started. So, um, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. So I'm Shanika and I'm a licensed therapist. And today I had a different topic, but I want to talk to you about envisioning greatness, envisioning greatness. Um, the first thing I want to think about, what do you see? And the reason why I chose this topic is because, um, earlier this week, I mean, things just started happening and it really shook my week up. It just really screwed my, my head up. And I started to think about and start to question, um, if I was doing the right thing and making the right decisions. Um, and most importantly, um, I had to remind myself of, um, my vision and that's what's important for you too as well i want you to start to ask yourself what do i see do you fear do you see fear do you see possibilities um what is it that you see so that's the first thing you have to take a look at your vision that's really important and um the second thing that i want you to do is when you look at your vision Look at it in the present moment and in the future. Because a lot of times what we have to do is we take a look at the plan, at the vision. And I like it, that scripture in the Bible that says, you know, you write the vision and make it plain. Make it to where I can understand it and where I can actually take it and, and actually put it into work where other people can see it as well. And the thing is, is that it's so important for you to build yourself up, for you to really strengthen yourself because there is a vision within you, but I want you to envision it greater, okay? Greater than, don't be afraid to ask for more or envision more for your life because that, what's most important is you deserve that. You deserve um, everything that you desire and more, ask for more. Okay, the second thing is um, develop a character of greatness. And what I mean by that is, are you trustworthy? Are, are you honest? Are you zealous? Because your character with positive character traits, your character will open doors for you. When you find that you're hitting a brick wall and your vision is not manifesting in your life, with good character, it will open doors for you, okay? So with that being said is you can have big dreams, you can have a large vision, but if you do not have good character, you won't get very far because you'll go up, but you will come back down that that's that's going to be that's going to be for sure so don't be afraid of the journey and i have my notes so that's why i'm looking away don't be afraid of the journey and what do i mean by this your story is currently being written you're going to need those low valley moments you're going to need those um peak moments those victories because you will inspire someone your story will inspire someone. So do not be afraid of the journey. You have to walk it. You have to go through the hard times. You have to go through the struggle, but you'll make it. You will make it. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, but I've been there. When you thought you can count on someone and they don't show up for you, keep envisioning greatness i have these these spectacles here to help me see clearly to help me see better that is that's the same thing you have to do you have to see through or see past your problems and see the possibility so when you don't have a support system you have to create and build one keep envisioning greatness keep visioning greatness because it will manifest in your life. You will start to attract those people who need to be in your life to help you manifest and bring that dream into reality. 
okay? When your friends turn away from you and you don't have that support, don't give up. Keep envisioning greatness because your dreams, your vision is really greater than you. What you can imagine, there's a larger plan. And so that's why I say do not be afraid of the journey. Don't be afraid to go through those low moments, those 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 um those hard tough times because you need that in order to share that story with someone else. So, I don't want you to give up. And every week I'm going to keep saying the same thing. Don't give up. You have two choices. When you have a de decision to make, that decision you only have two choices. That's fear or faith. And I want you to choose faith. I want you to choose courage. I want you to choose confidence. I want you to choose assertiveness. I want you to succeed. Because I share with my clients, failure is not in my DNA. I'm not afraid to fail because I already know what it feels like. So I don't want you to be afraid to fail and I don't want you to be afraid to envision something greater. Because if you do that, you'll never succeed. Hello, thank you, Varden, for joining. If you do that, you will never succeed. So remember, those two choices you have, fear or faith. Do not give up. Failure is not in our DNA. And you have to trust the process, trust the journey, and trust the plan. Yes, amen. You have to trust the process and trust the plan. So the thing is, I had to remind myself this week that just because the project didn't work out the way that I wanted it to, that I didn't fail. Because I felt like that was the divine's way of just really slowing me down and turning me around and getting me to refocus. To envision something greater than yourself and ask for more. That's my next point. Ask for more. Do not be afraid to ask for more. We're going to... this. This week, going into the next week, we're going to ask for more. We're going to keep asking, seeking, and knocking. And doors are going to open. Because your story, your journey, will inspire someone else. So we leave today knowing that failure is not in the DNA. Do not be afraid of the journey because you need it. Your Academy Award winning story is being written right now. So you're not going to be afraid. You're going to be fearless. And you're going to develop that character of greatness, great character, zealous, trustworthy, honest. All of those genuine, authentic characteristics are going to draw people closer to you. Those people that can open those doors for you to walk through and make the vision plain and make the vision come to life. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I know for me, I'm going to end this week knowing that it's all well and done. I'm going to keep pushing and I'm encouraging you to keep pushing as well. Envision greatness all right and so check back with me on friday as always my scopes don't last long um hello amaro thank you for joining you can always replay the scope for um from the beginning but i'll be back on friday at 2 p.m eastern time you can also follow me hi ciao hello oh oh you're in italy oh i want to come to italy <laughs> um you can always connect with me on my website. That's therapygirl.net, therapygirl.net. And um, see you on Friday. Thanks, everybody, and thank you for the hearts. Bye.